Hello everyone, welcome to another Fire Stick tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to connect Fire Stick to a wired Ethernet network. Now, before we get started, just make sure that you know that Fire Stick does not have an Ethernet uh, network port. So you'll need to purchase an additional adapter if you want to connect Fire Stick to a wired Ethernet network. Now, as you can see right here, unfortunately, none of the Fire TV Stick models have an Ethernet port. So you will need to purchase an Ethernet adapter separately to connect your Fire TV stick to the internet via wired network. That could set you back another 10 to $20 depending on which problem you get. Now, as you can see, you can go and purchase this one. This is from Amazon. It's probably the most reliable one, as you can see, oh, temporarily out of stock. But what you can do is just go here and just type Fire TV Stick Ethernet Adapter. You have a bunch of different adapters that are good. This one is also good. You can see that it has over, over four and a half stars. So you can do that, obviously. And once you have that, pretty much just, you know, plug in the Ethernet cable, plug this in into your Fire Stick, and that's pretty much it. You'll be able to connect Fire Stick to wired Ethernet network. Uh, but yeah, just know that, you know, uh, you can also do it like this. So... Uh, you can connect LAN Ethernet adapter to Fire Stick this way as well. Uh, it's kind of tricky, you know, if you're not tech savvy, if you don't know technology that good, you can do that. But um, obviously, I would recommend you to use, um, you know, the thing that I showed you here, which is this right here. So if you have this Ethernet cable goes through here and this goes into your Fire Stick. This is how it's set up right here. So basically, that's it. Um, you know, obviously... Uh, you can go then to your uh, settings, you know, if you can check your Ethernet connection settings, then network, and then you'll see Ethernet configuration here. You can configure uh, it yourself and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or maybe comments, um, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.